Hello everyone. Today we will study lab 8, the coefficients of linear expansion. Today we will learn how to measure the coefficients of linear expansion. Normally, when the object is heated, it will expand. For example, if we have a metal stick and it has temperature T. Sorry, I will change it to temperature T0. At this temperature, the metal stick had length L0. After that, we burn it. This is my fire. I want to change the temperature of it from temperature T0 to T. We will find that the metal stick will stretch out. Assume that it's stretched out of the length delta L. We will find that this delta L depend on two things. The first one is the initial link L0 and the second one is the temperature different delta T which is equal T minus T0. We can write it as delta L proportional to L0 multiplied by delta T or we can write it in another way as delta L equal alpha L0 delta T. This value alpha is called the coefficient of linear expansion. If you want to determine this value, you can write it as alpha equal 1 over L0 multiplied by delta L over delta T. This means that if you want to know alpha, you have to measure three properties. The first one is the initial length L0. The second one is the length that spread out after changing the temperature T0 to T. And the third one is temperature different. By measuring these two three properties, you can calculate the coefficient of linear expansion. In this lab, we will measure the value alpha of three metal which are copper, iron, and aluminum. Next, we go to the experiment setup. In this experiment, there are many equipment. The first thing that you have to do is heating water until it boils. The stream will come out from the rubber tube like this. Keep it there and I will introduce you other equipment. There are three types of metal that we will measure the coefficient of linear expansion. This is copper, this is iron, and this is aluminum. The equipment used to measure data L is this equipment. It consists of the base and this is dial gate. When you put it, the long hand of it will change. You see? The equipment used to measure the temperature is this one. It's called digital temperature. The first step 
you have to measure the initial length L0 of the metal rod by using tape measure. Measure from the right angle plate here to the metal stick here. This is L0. Next, insert the metal rod into the dial gate. Lock the metal stick. Lock it like this with the base. Notice that the metal plate is now pushing with the dial gate already. When we heat the metal rod, the rod will stretch out so that the right angle plate will move. We can read from the dial gate how much it's, it's stretch out. The dial gate has scale 0, 10, 20. The outer scale of it is in the unit of 0 0.01 millimeters. For example, if the long hand is at 0 at the beginning, and then go to number 10, so that the L is 90 times 0 0.01 millimeter because the dial gate moved backward. Next step, we have to measure the temperatures, both the initial temperature and final temperatures. We can measure the initial temperature by locking the sensor of digital thermometer with the metal rod. Then turn on it and press this button to change the resolution to 0 0.1 degree. In this case, the initial temperature is 28.1 Celsius. This is T0. Looking at the airport record L0 in the unit of millimeters, that the L going to measure in the next step, T0 is record here. Next we have to measure the final temperature T. After that, we can calculate alpha. After set up all of this equipment, don't forget to cover the sensor with the insulator for making temperature stable. For experiment, in this experiment, we heat the metal rod by the stream. Move the stream tube carefully. Move it carefully. And then plug it with the metal rod and move the dish to get the water that come out from the rod. To make the stream come out easily, use the wood box to underlay the beds. Like this. Now you see that the temperature is increasing. You see it increasing. Wait until the temperature is constant. The boiling temperature of water is 100 Celsius. But in reality, it will not reach there. Wait until it's constant. Assume that the temperature is constant now. At 92.6. This temperature is T final. Write it down here. Then to measure that the L look at the dial gate. Record the initial and final positions. Emphasis that the long hand of the dial gate will move reversely. For example, the initial position is zero and the final position is twenty. This does not mean that it moves 20 division, but it moves 80 division. 
this number is the theta L. Now you know L0, theta L, and theta T, so you can calculate alpha. After finishing the measurement, change the metal rod by unlock the sensor. Move the dish to get the stream. Take off the rubber tube, lay on the ditch. Take off the metal rod, rinse the hot water, and get the new metal rod to lock with the base and dial gauge. Do the same process, process as before. Do like this for three types of metal. And then calculate the percent error of your result in this part. Then answer the questions and conclusions. This is all of this lab. Thank you.